so and so. It's kind of a mythical place. You understand? A bad place. A place you won't get to see until Act Two and then. Well, let's just say it's filled with symbolism and things like that. But you're a town the musical. Here we are. Welcome. It takes place in a town like any town that you might find in a musical. This here is the first setting for the show. Now, as the sign says, it's a public amenity, meaning public toilets. These people have been waiting here for hours to get in. It's the only amenity that they can afford to get into. Say, you officer, is this where you tell the audience about the water shortage? What's that, Sally? You know, the water shortage. Please, sir, spare a penny for a morning pee. 
Ooh, what is or that? Or a nickel, or a dime. Ooh, out of my way, child. I'll feed on my own to tend to. <laughs> Have you got it? Then go get it. Oh, come on, Penny. I'm good for it. That's what you said last week, and I still haven't seen Penny one. And it's Miss Pennywise to you. Bobby, Bobby, reason with the woman. I'm a little short this morning. No, shorter than yesterday, unless I grow. He's my Thomas Miss Pennywise. Can't he get in for free just this once? Get your head out of the clouds, Bobby Strong. No one gets in for free. Now, Miss Pennywise, we've all had to make special arrangements with people in high places over the years. Come on, why not let this one be ours? <laughs> oh, Miss Strong gets in for free. So do I. And I. And I. Quiet back there. No one's getting anywhere for free. Don't you think I have bills of my own to pay? Don't you think I have taxes and tariffs and payoffs to me too? Well, I do. And I don't pay him with promises, see, I pay him with cash. Cold, hard cash. Every morning, you all come here. And every morning, some of you got reasons why you ain't gonna pay. And I'm here to tell you, you is gonna pay. Oh, Miss Penny. No buts, Bobby. Oh, God, Penny, what difference could it make? What difference? You've got no rights, I've heard it all before. Just this once is once too much. For once they once, the water once, once more. I run the only toilet in this part of town, you see. So if you gotta go, you've got to go through me. It's a privilege to pee. <laughs> what is worth its weight in gold these days? No more bathrooms like in olden days. Come here and pay a fee for the privilege to be. Twenty years we've had the drought, and our reservoirs have all dried up. I take my baths now in a coffee cup. I boil what's left of it for tea, <laughs> and it's a privilege to be. Oh, hold on, more. 
strong. The same. Is this your doing strong? It is. Uh, you does a terrible thing here today, strong. Hey, I did what I thought was necessary. Grab a mop, Bobby. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Breaking the public health acts is an exotic fetch, strong. What? Exiling. And what if it is? I feel better now. That's all I care about. Oh, Pa. Always knew we'd get you in the end, Joseph Strong. <laughs> Take him away. Bobby! Pa! Don't forget me, Bobby! I won't, Pa. I, I won't. Hey, tell your mother. Oh, tell your mother that I love her. I, I will, Pa. I, I will. Remember me, boys. Oh, God, what have I done? Remember me! Fact-finding mission to Rio. Wouldn't want to be around when the new fee hikes breeze through. You think I've gone too far this time, don't you, Phil? It's a powder keg out there, Caldwell. And this time, I think it's gonna blow. Daddy! What? Oh, darling, I thought you'd never get here. Sorry I'm late, Daddy. I left just as soon as my exams were finished. And how's everything, dear? Fine, Daddy, just fine. It feels good to be done with school, finally. You see there, Mr. McQueen? Beautiful. Big-hearted, now with a head filled with the best of money can buy. Well, if the stuff in her head is nearly as big as the stuff in her heart, they still have no problem running the company. <laughs> <laughs> that would be all, Mr. McCoy. I guess of course. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. But I know quite well. And all grown up, too. Hello, Senator. Come to join your father's little, uh, operation. It's just a fax copy position, of course, first day. Oh, a fax copy girl. Your father mentioned he was bringing on a new fax copy girl. He neglected, however, to mention how beautiful she'd be. You think? That's enough, <laughs> Yes, of course. <clears throat> well, we won't keep you, Senator. It's a big day. I'm sure you'll have your hands full on the floor of the legislature. What with the fee hike vote and all? Oh, they'll be full. And by this time tomorrow, I fully expect them to be full of cash. Don't worry, Senator. We'll all be full of cash, provided that the vote comes through. And no need to worry about the vote, just as long as you come through with the cash. No worry, Senator. Once the vote comes through, there'll be nothing else to come through but the cash. And no need to worry about the vote. Sit! <laughs> <laughs> I think we understand each other. Yes, well, goodbye. Let's meet the staff. Staff! <laughs> This here's my daughter, and our newest fax copy girl, Hope Cladwell. Hope Cladwell, meet the people of Young and Good Company, or UGC, as it's known for short. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Hope. <laughs> Say a few words, Hope, darling. Oh, well, uh, it's a great company, and I hope to help you make it even greater. <laughs> Well, that's absolutely right, Hope, dear, absolutely right. For you see, ladies and gentlemen, 20 years ago, we came to the people of this community with a simple proposition. Look the other way while we run this company as we see fit. 
and we will keep the pee off the street and the water <laughs> in the ground. Hope he has come to join our little alteration to help us keep that promise. Ah, so promise me <laughs> that you'll treat her like the clad girl she is. For someday, she may be wearing the same shoes you see me wearing today. The shoes I wore when I made that promise. I saw gray skies were boring and cold. I saw gray skies and made them ring gold. Time on those things too, you know. 
After all, a dry spell would affect hydraulics too, you know. Sure. But, okay, so sometimes in a musical, it's better to focus on one big thing <laughs> rather than a lot of little things. The audience tends to be much happier that way. And it's easier to write. One big thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Then why not hydraulics? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Run along there, little Sally. We don't want you to miss last call. You know Miss Pennywise won't hold that gate open forever now. Oh, right. Thanks for the coin. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a night. Ah, everything cleared up all right, Bear? Sure. Same as always. Mm. Did you hear him scream, though, Luxa? Who? Oh, man, Strong? All the way down to the <laughs> end. Yeah. But then they all scream in the end now, don't they? As their long journey into exile comes to a close and a spicy yard tapping above the horizon, they most certainly scream then, Bear. They most certainly knew. <laughs> uh, uh, I thought he might be different somehow. Different? Sure. Old man, Strong. Thought he might... I don't know. Surprise us somehow. If there's one thing I learned in my many years of forcing the laws of this city, is that the journey down here in town offers no surprises. Not even from the very toughest among us. On that journey, expect only the expected. And it's a hot, cold, tumble of a journey, worthy of a gurney, a bumble death, a slap. Your father mentioned the size and purity of your heart. 
about having a heart? Well, sure I did. Well, because mine feels awful cold just now. Cold? Or empty. One of the two. Not because of me, I hope. Oh, no, it, it's something I did. Bobby, Bobby, reason with the woman. I'm a little short this morning. No shorter than yesterday, unless I've grown. Grown, grown, grown. <laughs> 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 or rather something I didn't do. Well, if it feels cold, it must still be there, don't you think? Unless there's a vacuum where it used to be. A vacuum in your chest? It sounds so impossible. I did something wrong this morning, is all I'm trying to say. I can't seem to get out of my head. The vacuum? My action. I let someone down I love dearly, and I feel real bad about it. Well, maybe that's nature's way of telling you now's the time to lift someone up. Really? Well, sure. Do you think you'd be feeling as bad as you did if you didn't have a heart? I don't know. I suppose not. No, of course you wouldn't. Because then you'd be dead. When darkness surrounds you and you lose your way, you have your own compass that turns night to day. And it's even with you before you depart. Be still here and be. But to where? To wherever your heart tells you to go. Even there? Even to the clouds, if that's what your heart commands. What's it saying now? I don't know. I don't know how to listen to my heart. You have to listen carefully. Here, let me try. Oh! Ah, there it is. <laughs> we all want a world filled with peace and with joy, with plenty of water for each girl. I guess I do want those things. There was something else your heart was saying. Maybe something I shouldn't have heard. There was? I think so. It was barely audible, but there was definitely something. Well, what was it? Let me try again. Maybe I can make it out this time. Oh. <laughs> so faint it's saying, Follow into the Someone is waiting. 
noise, hopes, and joys. He was telling me about all those things. I didn't know two hearts could speak as one. I didn't either until now. He listened. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I was thinking about Miss Pennywise, about what had happened to him, 
But what's happening to us all? You broke the law yesterday, Bobby, and that's the end of it. And what if the law is wrong, Miss Pennywise? <gasps> <laughs> uh, I said, what the law is wrong, Miss Pennywise? What this is all wrong? Wrong? You've got a sweet looking head, Bobby, a sweet looking head. But you keep it up there in the clouds day after day after day. And it's gotta come down from there, you hear me? You get that head out of the clouds, Bobby Strong, you get it out of the clouds. Off in the distance, there's a beautiful horizon. Alright, folks. Gleaming and radiant, it's what I'll keep my eyes on. Same as it's always been. As the world turns to face the sun and start another day, it suddenly occurs to me that maybe we can find another way. Look at the sky, full of hope and promise. It's a shining ideal, how I reel when I look at the sky. Then nickels, dimes, and quarters. But here's all I have in Daily we break them because we have to follow orders. And we keep filling money bags with broken lives and dreams. But what's it for? I can't ignore this black immortal profit making schemes. Look at the sky high above this madness. Here below, feel our shape. You must stop in the name of the sky. Here's a lot of help, Bobby. Isn't enough? You hold on to your money, Ma. Really? The fee is the law, Bobby Strong. She'll abide by her sister and her husband. And what if there's a new law in town, Miss Pennywise? A new law that didn't come from any voting process or elected body or process of judicial review. But, but a new law that came from an organ. That's right. A muscular, blood pumping organ. Like this one. Right here. <laughs> Can't you see this Pennywise? Well, if this one's too small for you, wanna try this one on for size? It's blinding me. Look at the sky. There's a great big heart there. There's a heart in the sky. There just is. Don't ask why. It's the sky. of Rio slash shall change your mind soon enough, just like it changed mine those many years ago. God, I wish I never met you called Moby Cladwell. Sorry to interrupt, Daddy. I just wanted to make sure you got your money faxes. Why, who? You're absolutely glowing. It would seem that office work is agreeing with her. Well, put the fax in and all. And the copying. Ah, uh, yes, the copying. You're a good girl, Hope Cladwell. I used to be one before I met your father. Girl? You heard me. <laughs> Daddy, can I ask you a question? Sure, darling, what is it? Do you believe in love? What? <clears throat> why, why do you ask? I was just wondering. Oh, sorry to interrupt, sir. We got a little problem. Caldwell. 
few rabbits. To Rio! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> you hold on to your cash friend <laughs> and relieve yourself in happiness. Busy day so far. Busy on the records. If your books are right, how's the urinal holding out? A little bit of spillage, but nothing to be concerned about. The people are happy. That's the main thing. <laughs>
Jesus. Maybe for the same reason you didn't tell me you were clad. By the same girl I was last night. The same girl would have joined us by now. Bro. I can't fight against my father. And I can't not fight against him. So you either join us or you can stand aside. Stand aside. You heard me.
bro. Why? 
We must thank her for her father's crime. I think he's just in love with us. That's what I think. <laughs> maybe I am. <gasps> And maybe I made a promise up there. A promise that from this day forward, no man should be denied his essential humanity to the size of his pocketbook. And no man in need would be ignored by another with the means to help them. Today, because of you, 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 and you, we will look into the faces of our fellow men and not only see a brother, but a sister as well. My man. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> when did he say that? I don't remember him saying that. All I remember him saying was, Run! Run for your lives! Run! Yeah. 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 And the heat. The actual hotness of battle. Right. <laughs> the cry of freedom sounds something like, Run, freedom, run. Run, freedom, run away. <laughs> Run, 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 freedom, run away. That freedom, son, will shine someday. You better run, 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 run away. I'm frightened. Oh, it's really good, should be. Freedom is scary. It's a blast of cool wind that burns your face way down. Literally? Yes. There's a trickle of sweat. There's a trickle of sweat. Dripping in your ears. Dripping in your ears. You got to run. Run, freedom, run. Run, freedom, run. Run, freedom, run. <laughs> freedom, run away.
How about a real plan? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I've got a real plan. What? <laughs> hey, how did you find us? I had a feeling you'd be here. No one knows a sewer system like you do, Bobby. Or you. Cloud, I would like to talk to you, Bobby. What about? He wants to discuss the situation with you man to man. He says he now understands how unhappy the people of this community have become, and he wants to work out a solution with you this Now, that's a shortcut. That'll save us a decade of struggle. But can we trust him? Mr. Cladwell doesn't want to fight Mrs. Strong. He just wants his amenities up and running, smooth and natural. That's all he's ever wanted. What do you think, Rosalie? Well, I think it might be hard for you love the folk to grow. She's tied to that chair for the rest of her life. <laughs> All right, I'll go. <laughs> Bobby, no, what if it's a trick? Well, that's just a chance I'll have to take. Well, what about the girl? <laughs> she stays here. Any funny business, and she gets it. You tell that to Cladwell. Sure, I'll tell him. Likewise with the girl. Give it to her, we give it to him. Get me? We'll be careful. Well, stay calm, Hope, darling. We'll have you out of this in no time. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Hope. So this is the bright new day you were telling me about? I know you have every reason to be angry with me, Hope. But your father gave us no choice. They may not have taught me much at the most expensive university in the world, but they taught me this much. Kidnapping people is wrong. Really? <laughs> they taught you that there? We have made something special together, Bobby. <laughs> we do have something special together, Hope. But until freedom rules this land instead of fear? Love has about a chance as a baby bunny drowning in a vat of boiling water. Maybe less. I didn't mean to drag you into all this, Hope. And I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I meant to do. Look to your heart, Hope. You'll find whatever is your searching for there, deep down. Somewhere among the tissue. Wait a minute, but when can I see you again? When darkness surrounds you and you lost your way. You have your own compass that turns night to day. And it's even with you before you depart. We still hear it beating. It's leading you follow your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cladwell. If you are only beginning to fight. And keeping my daughter confined against her will. Tell me, is that how people fight? They fight by any means necessary. The streets are still ours, Mr. Strong. Young people are just holed up in some <clears throat> underground swing. They'll be up. Sorry to interrupt. This is a disturbance over at public amenity number 32, number 15 as well. Word began to spread. People have gathered all the rest. They're waiting to see what young Bobby's gonna do. After he meets with you, of course. Of course. Mr. McQueen. Do you remember the stink years, Mr. Strong? The first years after the water table started to drop and then just kept on dropping? No one thought they had much time then, and many of us did. Questionable things. Much like the things that are happening right now. There was a looting, of course. And the holding. Riots broke out like there was no tomorrow, for there was no tomorrow. But there is always a tomorrow if you're tough enough to cling to it. Which is why I've asked you here today. Oh. <laughs> now, some people see me as an evil man. <laughs> I'm no more evil than you, or Miss Pennywise, or any of those poor people that you insist on trying to lead. I'm but a simple man trying to cling to tomorrow, every day, by any means necessary. And what happens when the drought is over? <clears throat> Sorry, over? <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose one can 
okay, good. But until then, our regimen of control and consumption through the regulating mechanism of cash must continue. Ah, uh, yes. Regulating mechanism of cash. Oh, Bobby. I want you to have this cash. And I want you to tell the people that the powers that be grant full amnesty to all those involved in this week's criminal activities, provided they're willing to return to the improved fee schedule as authorized by the legislature. Don't let it happen again and have a good time in Rio. So many tomorrows. Yes. But I'm afraid my conscience is going to cost you more than just a pile of cash, Mr. Clydewell. Bobby, it really is a lot of cash. <laughs> Free access is the only cash I'm interested in. Hmm. I thought we had an understanding, Bobby. Then understand this. If there truly is a new way in that bright new world, we'll find it together. All of us, not just the rich few. And that means free access. Free access is impossible. And that's what I'll tell the people. Stop! <laughs> we'll not return to oh. stinky as Mr. Strong. Oh I'll God. not allow it. Caldwell, what are you doing? I've spent a lifetime building this company, paying off the police, bribing our political elite, and snuffing out popular resistance <laughs> as if it were a naughty baby bunny in the palm of my hand. My right hand. I've centralized all power to a pinpoint spot right here between these two ears. And I'll not let some dreamy-eyed boy who can't remember the stinkiest to ruin all that. <laughs> Seize him. Ah, I'll do it, Caldwell. Well, there's no telling what they'll do to the girl. That's just a chance I'll have to take. <laughs> that really is a people as they say. You think just because I love my daughter, I'll stop clinging to tomorrow? Caldwell, what are you saying? I close my heart to love once, and I can do it again. To your in town with him then. With all his stalkers to lock stop. With all his stalkers. You lied to us, Clackwell! Clackwell! Police first down! Why did I listen to that man? Why did I listen to the nature of this plan? And when he talked, I should have fought, I should have walked, I should have ran. Why did I listen to that man? You, get word to police headquarters. We'll be all hands on deck tonight. You, you, and you, stay with me. We'll see you at these disturbances. And fit! Yes, Clywell? Assemble the legislature. I want full authority for the coming crackdown. <laughs> and dirty my hands with this bad business? Not on my watch. Oh, don't kid yourself. Your hands are about as filthy as a child's after sandbox time. Oh, but don't worry. You can wash them soon enough. You can wash them by the banks of the Rio do Rio. Now go! You, you and both! You, come with me! Why did I listen to that pro? A little bribe and cash is all it really took. That's how that brave and told it made it, made me came and I'm a stoke. Why did I listen to that pro? You lied to us, Clydro! You said one thing and then did another! That's what you did, Clydro! That's what you did! Others. What happens to me happens to her. Uh -uh. What happens to you happens to all of us sooner or later. Rather later than sooner, I'd say. <laughs> not to hope, oh, please, not to hope. <laughs> A 
a rooftop. And a drop, a sassy drop. <laughs> I guess that's going to understand. Oh, never fear. The time for understanding is at hand. Welcome then to the very gates of your town itself. <laughs> Why did I listen to that guy? Oh, <laughs> 
never to reveal my identity to you. If I was something of a strumpet in my day. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but never in my wild. Enough! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is telling you many things right now as you can all well imagine. But one thing is bellowing louder than anything else. So when there's wrong in the world, we must ride it. You did a wonderful thing coming here today, Miss Pennywise. Mom? Aww. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and if you can reform yourself, maybe we can reform a lot more than we know. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies of the rebellion, <laughs> if you want to do to me what they did to Bobby, I wouldn't blame you. Save her! The fight if this righteous rebellion went to Peter out in Bobby's absence, sending his memory to oblivion, I would blame you. All of you, kill me and the rebellion dies with me. Let me lead you and the rebellion will triumph. Lead us? She's mad. Yeah. Lead you to the very nerve center of my father's empire. I've got a key. And the gods know not to question me. But once there, we'll question them. Oh dear, yes, we'll question them plenty. Why should we trust you? <laughs> because Bobby, your hero, loved me. And I'm not a Hope, dear girl, on behalf of the people of the 
rebellion, perhaps we, in time, might be able to love you too. We did not like it. That's all that matters, isn't it? Love. Now that's going to do to them what they were ultimately going to do to us.
<laughs> I regret nothing. You hear me? Nothing. I may have been a bad man and a cruel and vicious father, but I kept the pee off the street and the water in the ground. You hear me? I kept the water in the ground. <laughs> 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 regardless of race, creed, class, or criminal history, can join together as one people and share the fruits of our labor as one. Now is the dawning of a new age of compassion and the right to do whatever you like, whenever you like, with whomever you like, in whatever location you like. Ladies and gentlemen of the rebellion, <laughs> today marks the final day of an age of fear, an age that lasted far too long. Today marks the first day of a new age. A new age! Don't say it! Of hope! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I see a river flowing for freedom. I see a river just in you.